Hi. In this uh, second presentation, we will look at the um, installation of the Exilinx with other design suite. After watching this presentation, I hope that you will be able to install Vivado in your computer and also the necessary Vivado board files for the um, Digiland Basis 3 board. Uh, you should start by creating your own account at exilinx.one if you do not have one already. Uh, you can pause this video now and take care of that. And once you have your Exilinx account, uh, please open the Vivado Basis 3 tutorial file that you find attached to the calendar page for this week, or also at the course workspace in our course website. Uh, the first step in this tutorial is, of course, to install Vivado. And you can do so for any Windows version from 7 to 10, or also for Linux. Uh, at the end, you will need to uh, copy to your computer a valid Exilinx license file and, uh, of course, the Basis 3 Vivado board files as well. I'll just show you a sequence of screen captures instead of doing it live because it really takes a long time. So let's see the uh, sequence to install Vivado. Uh, we will start with the uh, Windows uh, self-extracting web installer uh, as recommended in the tutorial and then just follow through the various pages by clicking on Next. Uh, you may proceed without logging in, but if you already have your uh, Exilinx account, you can enter that information here and then click on Next. You will have to select I agree on these three locations and again click on Next. And on this page, uh, please select the Vivado HL Design Edition and click on Next. Now you have to select the uh, Software Development Kit option in this box and uh, keep all the remaining options as shown by default in this page and click on Next. And this is when it starts to get time consuming. Uh, I did it twice in virtual machines, one for Windows 7 and the other one for Windows 10 and also uh, on an old laptop uh, running Windows 10. Uh, this is the virtual machine uh, on Windows 7 um, on a 1 megabit per second Wi-Fi where it took about uh, two and a half hours. Uh, it took just a little bit longer in uh, Windows uh, 10, in the Windows 10 virtual machine on the same Wi-Fi, but it took nearly three hours and a half uh, on my older laptop, although it is still a nice machine. Well, the good thing is that you don't have to stand by while it downloads. Just make sure that your computer will not um, go to sleep before the download is complete. After installing, you will need uh, the license file and I uh, recommend you to select the free uh, webpack uh, option as shown here. Uh, once the uh, license is generated, you will have to log in at exilence.com and uh, move on to the Manage Licenses tab in your account. Uh, if you scroll down uh, in that page, you will be able to select the license file as indicated here. And you can use the button uh, on the bottom left to uh, download it to your computer. Uh, after moving the license file to the Exilinx root folder, uh, you will be ready to install the uh, Digiland Basis 3 uh, board files and start working. So let's have a look at the uh, board files now. Just go to uh, Digiland's website and uh, follow this path indicated here. Uh, or use this short URL uh, directly instead, if you prefer. And then uh, click on Download to get your uh, compressive board files folders. Uh, after uh, downloading and uh, uncompressing the zipped file, uh, you will be able to copy and paste the board files into their destination. Uh, please notice the uh, directory path names in uh, this slide. You, you may open the original slide files uh, if you want to see it better. And uh, access the um, uh, locations indicated here. After pasting these folders, you are ready to start your work. Uh, just get your uh, Basis 3 board and uh, follow the tutorial from this point on. Um, I have made a, a very short 10 second video showing uh, what you can expect to see at the end of the tutorial. 
and you can uh, watch it as the next presentation in this playlist. Thanks for your attention and good work.